What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing oh so well and welcome back to Football Therapy and to today's video which is on Tammy Abraham and Harry Kane. Can young Abraham knock Harry Kane off his England perch and outscore him in the Premier League this season and give Gareth Southgate a decision to make? I'm going to be pulling up some stats from this season so far from both individual players and indeed their respective teams in terms of creating chances, etc. So maybe that could project what the players are looking like moving forwards in terms of form and delivery and perhaps how many goals they will score. That kind of thing. You get what I'm saying. But before we get into today's video, I want to request that you do subscribe to Football Therapy as I upload content every single day and I don't want you guys missing out on any video so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications icon and if you want to help your boy out please do like this video. Alright this might be a little bit of a fanciful topic you know Tammy Abraham's having his first sort of good spell in the Premier League Harry Kane's been awesome in the Premier League for a long time he's been so so good for England so good for Gareth Southgate he's captain of England so it sounds a bit radical but this is really just a theoretical subject and the numbers back it up so bear with me but it needs to be said Tammy Abraham when given a proper chance generally delivers and scores a lot of goals Harry Kane is a superb goal scorer uh, an elite top level finisher and not only that Harry Kane has developed his game over the last couple of years in terms of how he plays drops deeper he can sort of play make now he's much better assisting long passes he's very much the complete striker Harry Kane but form does come into it and so does environment and Chelsea's environment comparatively to Spurs at the moment is a lot better and respectively both strikers of different form Tammy Abraham obviously being the man in form and Harry Kane going through difficulty probably largely down to how Tottenham are at the moment but before we get into more speculation and discussion about comparing these two strikers and whether the younger Tammy Abraham can you know knock the older and more experienced Harry Kane off his perch eventually or perhaps even come next summer I want to talk about some numbers so let's bring up that statistic page. So we're going to talk about the Premier League season so far in the opening eight games coming into this international break. Goals. So Tammy Abraham is the Premier League's joint top goal scorer with eight goals this season and Harry Kane has five. This works out with Tammy Abraham scoring a goal every 73 minutes which is an excellent return and Harry Kane scoring a goal every 143 minutes which is okay but pretty poor by Kane standards. This next stat is pretty telling. Tammy Abraham has a lethal marksman shot accuracy of 65% at the moment, which is a really, really excellent shot accuracy. Whereas Paul Hazard only has a 45% shot accuracy at the moment, dictating a rather poor form for the England's captain. Let's switch over to some other stats for some more context. Aerial duels won. Tammy Abraham is winning 2.8 aerial duels per game this season where Harry Kane is only winning 1.4 per game. Shots per game Tammy Abraham is taking 3.3 shots per game with that elite shot accuracy and Harry Kane is only taking 3, I say only taking 3 that's still pretty good but you know what he hasn't got the excellent accuracy of Tammy Abraham at the moment and 3.3 is pretty decent. And in terms of creativity on top of scoring goals Tammy Abraham is making 1.1 key passes per game and uh, Harry Kane is only executing 0.8 key passes per game so Tammy is winning more aerial duels, he's being more creative, he's being more accurate, he's taking more shots, scoring more goals and to be honest he's scoring every kind of goal so far in the Premier League this season. Uh, headers, scrappy goals outside the box, all of it. And man of the match awards, Tammy Abraham has three man of the match awards and Harry Kane only has the one for the moment. Now, obviously all these stats dictate Tammy's had a better opening segment to the season. Now this isn't necessarily gonna dictate he's gonna be better all season, but there's a few elements to talk about that might give you a bit more of an idea how things are going. And I wanna talk about all that kind of stuff. So let's get rid of this statistic screen. Okay, so Tammy started the season better in pretty much every single metric than Harry Kane. But how can you sort of predict what they're gonna be like going forward? Well, let's 
talk about another couple of things. At the moment, Tottenham as an entire team are only scoring 1.75 goals per match, where Chelsea are scoring 2.25 goals per match. So Chelsea are generally scoring more goals and they're being more attacking, which suits Tammy Abraham as a striker moving forward and obviously will suit Harry Kane less as a striker as well. Strikers feed off big chances in the Premier League. Is your team creating enough chances for your striker to do well moving forward? Well, again, looking at what's happened so far in the Premier League, Chelsea have created 20 big chances in the Premier League and Tottenham have only created nine, so that's more than double from the Blues. So that's another huge factor moving forward. Chelsea are looking like a more cohesive, creative team moving forwards. They look like they know what they're doing. They've got an ethos, philosophy, and Tottenham are not creating the chances. So at the moment, not only has Tammy been better in terms of form and the metrics that he's delivered, in terms of what the teams are generally delivering moving forward, and at present, it looks much more promising from a Chelsea perspective than from a Spurs perspective. So you can really only speculate, or the betting man would speculate, that Tammy Abraham is gonna score more goals than Harry Kane this season. Now, let's ferment that with a little bit more narrative. If you look at Chelsea, there's a huge feel-good factor at the moment. Everyone's loving the coach, the coach is loving being there, everyone's in on his philosophy, everyone's, there's a great camaraderie between the team, everyone wants to be playing for Frank Lampard, everyone wants to be on the pitch, there's a great chemistry between the players, and it's just essentially a great belief throughout the squad. Now switch that over to North London and Tottenham Hotspur, and really, it's kind of the antithesis of that at the moment, it's kind of the opposite. Maurizio Pochettino, for the last few months now, kind of feels like he doesn't want to be there. He's made some weird comments even before the Champions League final, you know, whether it's raging against the board, some of his players, maybe he just wants to be at another club now, I don't know, and a lot of players don't want to be there. Ericsson, both their central defenders, there's frustration across the squad, you know, Deli Alli's dropped form, loads of uncertainty in that club at the moment. And with uncertainty comes poor form and poor chemistry and it doesn't look like it's going to be fixed anytime soon. So he's got all the talent in the world Harry Kane, he's an excellent striker but in this environment he's going to struggle, he'll certainly not create his best work like he does in previous seasons. If you look at the environment that Tammy Abraham's in, it's the perfect nurture for him to do well and you know him to basically display his talents and his abilities which he is at the moment. So if it looks like Tammy Abraham's going to be scoring more goals in a team that creates more chances and has better chemistry come next summer for the Euros there might be more Chelsea players in Gareth Southgate's Euro squad than Tottenham Hotspur players and you know what that's pretty likely so on the face of it more Chelsea players together better chemistry Tammy Abraham has better chemistry of said players Therefore, he'll be more inclined, or the striker would be more inclined to score if he was a Chelsea player. If he has already outscored Kane in the Premier League by then, next summer, what does Gareth Southgate do? Does he make the decision if he goes, look, I'm playing Callum hudson Adoy in this game, I'm playing Mason Mount or Ruben Loftus-Cheek, they all know how to combine perfectly with Tammy Abraham. Do I play Tammy Abraham, who scored 25 Premier League goals, or maybe Harry Kane, who scored less? He's got to make that decision. It already looks like Gareth Southgate has made the mistake of trusting players from the World Cup who served him so well in the World Cup who are now in poor form. That looks like it's served him very, very badly. So if he's going to learn from that and play players on current form who are playing well in their club side in the Premier League, he might have to start looking to players like Tammy Abraham moving forward. Now, I'm not saying Tammy Abraham is a better centre forward than Kane. Obviously, he's four years younger and he's got a lot of development to go and he needs to develop in a creative Premier League team like Chelsea for a while longer before you can make a fair assessment and comparison. But I'm posing the question, if he outscores Harry Kane in the Premier League this season, Chelsea have a much better sort of chemistry and feel-good factor. There's more Chelsea players in Gareth Southgate's squad than Tottenham Hotspur players, and Kane perhaps has been struggling in an uncertain Tottenham Hotspur side. What does Gareth Southgate do? Obviously, they both get called up to the England squad, but does he end up preferencing young Tammy Abraham 
over Harry Kane? Can that happen? You decide. And I want to hear your thoughts, opinions and comments in the comment section below. So get down there. Let me know what you think. Is this a possibility? Let me know how many goals you think both Harry Kane and Tammy Abraham will score in the Premier League this season. If you have enjoyed today's content guys please do like the video and remember to subscribe if you are new and a quick reminder to you guys if you want to join the football therapy discord server you can the link to do so is in the description below through patreon it costs one dollar and the conversation about football never stops you can also follow me on social media at football yannick on both instagram and twitter that's it from me guys hope you've enjoyed today's video you lot enjoy the football and i will see See you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.